Hey there my peeps, got a new video for you guys, sorry it's been so long. So I did some new upgrades to the mill. Pretty sweet stuff going on here, let me show you what I got. Instead of those guide blocks, I added some bearings on top, roller bearings, for my guides. It used to have two of these blocks, one on top. Or one on top, one on bottom. But as you can see, I added some bearings to the top. Seems to cut nicer. Because those actually, you can put a little down pressure on the blade and it seems to keep it. I don't know, it seems to cut better. In my opinion. What else have I done? Oh yeah, this is pretty sweet. I stole this offline. This actually was a different guy's idea. I saw it. But it's still pretty sweet. Manual up and down. So you, this has a roll pin. That's what holds it on. The uh, original handle. So I took it off. Drilled a hole in the bolt. That slipped over the shaft. Put the roll pin back in. Three quarter. Sorry. 19 millimeter cordless drill. And we got manual up and down. And it's actually pretty easy to adjust. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Anyway, it's pretty sweet. I like it. That old throttle was junk. I came out after this winter. First time I pushed on it, it just broke because it was plastic piece of crap. So I actually took this one off an old rototiller I had laying around. Works good. Still haven't built the holder for my battery. It's still zip tied on, but working pretty sweet yesterday I had a brand new blade on it and I was cutting and it hit a nail on the very on the second cut not the first cut I guess but yeah that's all for now stay tuned more to come got a lot of projects going on this summer thanks for watching subscribe